In this video, I am showing you how to secure a web application using Keyglow. I am using a Spring Boot web application as the third party application and I am using OpenID Connect protocol for this example. Keyglow supports both OpenID Connect and SAML protocols. You can use any protocol as you wish. Also, I am using Keyglow Spring Boot adapter so I can easily integrate Spring Boot application with Keyglow. A Keyglock adapter can be simply defined as a set of third-party app-specific libraries used for an easy integration with Keyglock. I have created a separate video on Keyglock adapters. You can watch that later. So as the first step, I am going to create a client in Keyglock admin console. After that, I will show you how to integrate that client with Spring Boot application with the help of client adapter. Now I am to the Keyglock admin console. You can see I am on the realm called Hexadefense. As the first step, I am going to create a new client using client page. I am going to create a new client. I set the client name as OIDC client. I set the access type as confidential. I set the redirect URL as HTTP localhost 8081. This URL belongs to the Spring Boot application. We are going to create. I set the admin URL also as HTTP localhost. Admin URL is used to support single logout feature. Now I am going to save the client. From the credentials tab, you can get the client secret. We will need this value in a short while when we are configuring the Spring Boot application. Now I am going to create a role for this client from role tab. I am going to create a new role. I name it as KC role. Now I need to assign this role to a user. For that, I am visiting the users page. Click view all users. Since I have already created a user named Hexa, I am not creating a new user. I assign the KC role to this Hexa user. I go to roles mapping tab in order to assign this role. I am going to select the client we just created. Ok now I just assigned the KC role to Hexa user. Now admin console configuration part is done and now I am moving to the Spring Boot application. Now I am in the Spring Boot application. This is the Gradle file of my application. You can see here I am using Java 8 for this. Also here you can see the dependencies I have used. So in addition to Spring Boot starter dependency, I have used Keyclock Spring Boot starter dependency which is acting as the Keyclock adapter for this application. We need to include Keyclock adapter GOM dependency as well, otherwise this application will not work properly. Now I am moving to the Spring Boot main application. You can see there are no changes made in this class. Now I am moving to the controller class. I, I have created a simple controller class. Here you can see request mapping path is set as API. There are two endpoints defined as public and private. Now I am onto the application.properties file which contains 
the most important configurations of this application. I have set the server port as 8081 since Keyclock service running on 8080 port. And I have set Keyclock.enable as true. If we are setting this value as false, this adapter will be simply ignored. Also, I have set the real name as hexadefense. Also, I have set the Keyclock server URL as well. SSL required property is set to none since I am not using HTTPS for the communication. I have set Keyclock dot resource as OIDC client. This is the name of the client we created few minutes back. Also, I have included the secret. I showed you how to get this secret when I was creating the client. I have set keyclock dot user resource role mapping as true since I am using client roles for authorization. If we are using real roles, we need to set this value as false. After that, I have defined the secure endpoints of this application. Here you can see private endpoint is secure and I have not done any restriction for the public endpoint. According to this definition, any user having role named KC role can access both private endpoints and public endpoints. Other users can only access public endpoint. Now we are done with the application. I am going to start this. You can see the application is started successfully. Now I am on to the browser. I am going to log out from Realm. First I am going to access the public URL of the Spring Boot application. I can visit the public endpoint without any restriction or without providing my credentials. Now I am going to the private endpoint. You can see it redirected me to the login page of the Keyglock server. Here I need to provide the credentials of the Hexa user. Hope you remember Hexa user is the one who was assigned the KC role. I give the password here. Now I click login. I was successfully redirected to the private URL. Now we can say this application is protected with Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. With this, we come to the end of this video. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.